Hello there everybody. So I thought I would do another sexing video. Um, I have a Rocky Palmer or Autumn that molted just the other day and I managed to get the malt out. It's not in great condition but um, I thought let me do this video just once again to show you how I do this. Uh, lots of people have their own ways of doing it but this is how I do it and I get pretty good results. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, obviously the first thing is the tools that I use. I mean, I keep a tweezer handy always. Uh, I keep a piece of perspex because that's what I'll put the um, exuvium onto once I've got the, the lower half of the abdomen removed. Um, I've got a spray bottle here with some water, just basic tap water, and then I use this little um, iPhone attachment. Uh, that ma It's a little magnet zoom lens, if you like, but it's actually a a macro lens that helps you really zoom in super close when you stick it to the front of a phone which I'll do to this phone in a bit and then you can see what what we've done okay so quickly to get started all I will do is I'll first take take hold of the malt and if you're lucky and the spider hasn't destroyed everything you should find here okay let's have a look here at the base of the carapace so let's have a look at this Wait. so there's the fangs and that's the uh, coxa that all the legs join to. And then at the bottom, you've got this V where the, uh, the last legs join to the, to the carapace, basically. And then the abdomen, abdomen begins. So what I start by doing is trying to cut into that V. I see half of it's already broken on this one. So I'm just going to cut into that and remove the second segment so the abdomen falls away. So that's it. We're basically done with the... Uh, whole exuvium and I'm going to discard that straight away we don't need that anymore then you've got the hot potato to work with normally uh, which is the part with all the urticating bristles on and all that stuff um, so what I'll do is again have a look at this and see where the book lungs are and as you can see here where the bottom of the abdomen folds open oh wow this is actually opening all right but we can see that the book lungs, in other words, where the carapace used to be, is here. There are the spinnerets, so that's the back of the spider. And this is going to be the middle and the area where we want to look where the book lungs are, where the spermathica will sit if this is a female. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle, make sure it's working, put a little bit of spray on this piece of perspex, wet this a little bit as well. It tends to work like a parachute once it gets wet. It absorbs water very quickly and it'll start to open. Uh, even more so when you plonk it on a drop of water. You'll see that it'll just start to spread open on its own. There we go. See, it's just opening by itself, which is great. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Um, so I just straighten that up. And there we go, that's the whole bottom of the exuvium. And now if we pour off any excess water, just shake it a bit sideways and turn it over, we are exposed to the four book lungs and the area where the spermathica should sit, which is between the two anterior book lungs. In other words, the lungs that are closest to the body or to the carapace of the spider. Let's make that simple. Um, bit of a fold here but it's not important but I don't know if any of you can tell already but this is a female you can see quite clearly the spermathica structure over there and uh, let's see if I can put this little magnifying glass on here if we can get even closer and see what it looks like uh, let's go put that on there so it goes blur for a little bit and in we come and boom there they are you can see that solid structure right there let me see if i can get in there yeah this is the front of my tweezers think how small this is that that solid structure you see right there a very clear set of spermathica that are dark in color and um let me see if i can get more light on this There you go. 
You can clearly see over here is a sort of like a little ear on the right and a little ear on the left there, hidden behind this sort of flap that they call it. But that is a, a female that is mature and ready to mate if you wanted to. So that's pretty simple. This is how I do it. And uh, I get great results. Um, also photograph these off my website like this. Um, but yeah, nice and easy. Uh, it also, you know, as I say, you get rid of all the all the bits you don't need to work with straight away, and you're left with nothing but uh, an easy little uh, exuvium piece to work with, and it, it opens so easily with some water, and uh, an easy way to sex a spider. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, I hope it works for you too.